Yeah, into no side. Yeah, baby, I'm reaching a new any. I'm reaching a new any. Hey, Mama, what is this? Good, good, good to see you all. Good to see you. Hi, guys. So, yeah, I just invaded somebody's house. No, well, I invaded my friend's house. This is Nadesh, and this is White Bond. And my name is Gina. Welcome to my channel. And it's a pleasure. Well, Yvonne. Why Vaughn? I'm like, why should it be pronounced Yvonne? It's, it's a Y and a Vaughn. Like, okay, girl. So, welcome to my channel. And today I have invaded your home. I'm feeling comfortable with my drink. And they're also going to be sharing their story with us, you know, um, their uh, stories about traveling abroad. And did I say that right? A board? A broad. Abroad. 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 <laughs> You're very American, baby. Come on, broad. Can we sit on your deck? Because I'm invading this house right now. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Invasion. Oh my God, I can't even figure out what door goes out. <laughs> okay, this is it. <laughs> Invading. So. so, I'm going to have them introduce themselves. This is Nadesh once again. This is Yvonne. Yvonne. Correction, why Vaughn? Um, <laughs> you can tell me nothing. So do you want to tell um, the viewers what you do? And she will also say hers as well. Okay. Well, hi, everybody. My name is Nadej. And um, I'm a mom of three. And um, currently, you know, with this whole coronavirus, um, home with the kids and just supervising, making sure they're doing what they're supposed to do and not burning the house down. Not <laughs> <laughs> burning the house down. I'm Yvonne. I'm currently a student. I graduated from Virginia Con Commonwealth University. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, I, be, I graduated from there. <laughs> I'll be attending Howard University in the fall for my master's. So. Woohoo again! I know. So, yeah, so, you know, I'm just working with, like, you know, this corona stuff is just, I don't even know when I'm starting class, so, you know, I'm just chilling right chilly. now. Chilling. Yeah. We're all chilling. Like, I am mm -hmm. chilling. <laughs> Very hard. <laughs> Dang, I just run out of juice right here. <laughs> she has some Moscato or something. Oh my god! You want gosh. some of this coffee? Oh! <laughs> anyway, so we're here today, or I'm here today, um, first of all, to invade your house, which I have done, and we're outside now. <laughs> I'll I'll continue with the invasion, but we really wanted to hear y'all stories, like what your experiences have been um, living abroad or even having traveled anywhere around the world. This is called Boga Diaries where people share their um, stories about culture shock and you know at the end of the day advise people who have not uh, traveled abroad okay so that's it i mean i have a lot of stories but <laughs> it can't just be about me and once you really hear what well, all of you it's about to be just about me for <laughs> so, <you know. laughs> anyways like i said my name is nadej um which is french um it means hope but i just want to talk about um uh you know me being here and when i came and all that um, basically, I've been here for about 27 years, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I came... 27 from... years? Yeah. God damn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, my parents brought me here when I was very young, and um, since I've been here, um, life, you know, life has been good, but at the same time, it's hard here in America. But um, when I first came, I was about a seven years old. Yeah. I want to tell you basically a little story about when I came in. I'm you know, all ears. I, Seven years old, I was very young. It is a culture shock because, you know, in Ghana or in Ivory Coast, well, I was born in Ghana and I was took, took, taken to Ivory Coast when I was probably about one. Okay. So I've been in Ivory Coast till about seven, eight years old. Yeah. Well, close to eight. And yeah. my parents brought me here. Okay. And I've been here ever since. Yeah. Um, but it is a culture shock because it's very different. Yeah. But even though I was still young, um, you know, I. I was learning a lot. How, like, how, how old were you when, you when you came? I was about seven, almost eight. Seven, okay. Yeah. So did you come straight to Virginia or you went to some other state Yes, we were straight to Virginia. No, um, Virginia. My parents lived in Alexandria oh, when okay. we first came. Okay. Um, that's a Ghanaian hub. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> the SS house. Yeah. <laughs> XS house. Yeah. Those big apartments in Alexandria. But yeah, when I came in, I didn't speak any, any English. Uh, my main language was, was French. Wow. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> so, 
so yeah, my main language was uh, French, and I understood a little bit in Zima, um, which is another language that I know now. But my French is kind of, you know, it's not the same. I don't speak it uh, fluently, but I do understand just a little bit. Right. Um, but you know, the reason why I forgot my French was because when I was in school, mm-hmm. at eight, nine years old, my teacher called my. Uh, my dad and told my dad that he needs to speak English to me at home <laughs> because I'm speaking French to all her students. When you were here? Yeah. Oh my so God. then my, my dad stopped speaking the French at home. Then I that's when I forgot most of my French, French. which is very sad. I wish I spoke it. Like, don't worry, I got you. you know. Girl, bye. You I, almost, I got you. you. I took one French class in college. So. Ça va? Yeah. Très bien. Hey. Hey. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So you know, but I'm 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 hoping to to go back to Ivory Coast, you know, and, and learn my language again. Yeah, so, I hope you make your way back to wherever Ivory Coast, right, to learn mm-hmm. in the Ghana. And I, I need I need to learn some language too. But pe- some people think I speak French. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I was not gonna say this on camera, but hey, I speak French. So, um, I really, wa- <laughs> I really wanted to know um, about when you landed here in America. Um, you landed in Dallas or DC? Girl, I don't know. Seven years, seven, okay. eight years old. And then you, 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 were put, you were put in the car and shipped like a slave. Yeah. <laughs> Girl. You see all these buildings and all this green greens everywhere. And then you're taking to Alexandria. By the way. I re- I'm still in my home invasion process. I'm just gonna whew, invade more of this house. Cause I'm, then, can you show me more of this right. house? Absolutely. Let me throw you the baton <laughs> and of now course. you take me around. All right, so this is our little area that we like to come and sit and hide. gossip. Yeah, and hide from the sun. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So what, what, what has been your experience since you You've been here. Any culture shocks? I mean, um, as of now, you're very Americanized, but oh, do you yeah. remember anything from back in the days? Yeah, I mean, of course, you know, the big buildings and uh, so all these different, different cars. And, you know, it's just it, that is a, a, sh- a culture shock. But um, another one that I'm still being hunted <laughs> today by my cousins um, was um, I think I'm probably 10 years old. Uh, my cousins, uh, my older guy cousins were, were taking me out. Yeah. And um you know, as a kid, even when I first came in, I was wondering about the traffic light and <laughs> the, the it's side street it's lights. It's how, it's how, sounds like how, it's to be good. <laughs> how, you know, all these things turn on and off and how, you know, I didn't know anything about sensors as a young kid. Yeah. But anyways, so, you know, when you're a kid, you use your imaginations a lot. Right. So in my head, I'm thinking, oh, you know, I'm sitting in the back of the seat and I was like, maybe I should ask my cousins about this thing I'm wondering about all the time. I said the lights turning the lights, red, yellow, yellow green. green. And also the street lights and all that. You Coming know, on. we don't have a lot of that. Yeah. Or in Ivory Coast. So one day, you know, my cousins, my guy cousins were sitting in the front driving, um, you know, just talking and conversating. I'm wondering about it. So I asked them, I was like, um, the traffic light. <laughs> I want I have questions about it. So I, I told them, I was like, you know, I'm using my imagination. I was like, you know, all these years I've been I've been thinking I feel like is there somebody down and under the ground like in my mind I'm thinking it's someone who's wearing a construction outfit he has a whole bunch of computers around oh him and a whole bunch of men just sitting and watching people with their cars moving, moving and stuff and they say oh there's five cars <laughs> Every time it's green. so I'm thinking this is how the traffic lights are being turned on from yellow red and green so I tell my cousins this, and they and and I'm like, is there somebody in down in the under the ground that's pushing buttons to make the lights go red and green? They looked at each other and bust out laughing. Man, that hurt my feelings. <laughs> it didn't stop there. It didn't stop there. So you know, they didn't really tell me, and they they just kept going on it. Are you serious? You really think somebody's down there? I'm like, can you just tell me like well, how this works? They didn't. We get home. The straight the person they went straight to was my dad. Oh my sitting god. Sitting in the kitchen. And they start telling my dad this, you know, what the, I asked them in the car. Yeah. My dad looks at me, I'll pull. This is my home name. I just go storming into my room. <laughs> and every time they bring it up, you know, when I do something that they don't like, they bring it up. And I'm just like, remember, I was your ESL teacher when you first came to America. So don't go there with me. Put some respect in my name. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So, you know, when you were saying it, I am thinking about 
how movies play out, like mm-hmm. all these action movies. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, see, I was thinking maybe it's because you watched a lot of action movies. Because sometimes you see that there's some computerized or mm-hmm. strong room, they yeah. call it, that somebody's like, yeah. blah, 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 and then you're chasing somebody up the street. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. maybe she was getting robbed. Probably, right most likely. And I mean, when you're, you know, when you're, you're sitting in the back seat and you, your parents or whoever is driving, you see these construction guys have their bodies in the, in the ground. ground. So that's when you know, there's, you think, oh, maybe that's, you know, I'm, yeah. Yeah, I like to I like yeah. to use my imagination. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> and why Vaughn sitting right here? She's like, ha, 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 ha. I'm sure you have a story too, because I'm about to laugh at you, whatever it is. <laughs> so, so, I mean, why Vaughn here? She she's an American, full blown, and she's also done a lot of traveling, you know, around the world. But which which of, which of your travels really did stick out to you? <laughs> um, the one when we went to the Ivory Coast, oh. like. 10 years ago, that was a long time ago. But yeah, so, you know, I eat meat. You know, I like meat. Vampire. That's fine. <laughs> Vampire. That's fine, I can eat meat. And, but the only thing is, I just don't like to see the animal. Oh, so you've never seen it? No, I didn't. You've no. never seen the process. She don't know no. where the chicken that I didn't know where it comes from. How did they get the chicken like this? <laughs> <laughs> like, I couldn't think far. That's what you guys have been saying. But like, I went to Ivory Coast, and we were at my uncle's house and chilling. You know, he had a nice big house, and it's like glass everywhere, so you can see like outside. Yeah. So you know, I'm, you know, I was in my room. Yeah. We just had breakfast and stuff, and you know, everybody was like cooking. Mm-hmm. Um. So like, you know, I'm walking, and then you know, I'm seeing like, you know, they had like goats and stuff. <laughs> Which is, you know, I was like, oh, okay, cool. So then I see one of my uncles, you know, dra- like not really dragging, but like taking the goat to one area. So I'm just like really interested to see what's going to happen happens. next. So I'm looking and next thing I know, they just, you know, killed the, the goat. And I'm just standing there like. <laughs> and then I just go back to my room, not thinking they're actually killing it to eat it. Really? Yeah, I wasn't okay. really thinking about it. So, you know, a few hours later um you know we're eating and you know it's a long table my dad is like next to me and i'm eating and my dad was like oh is the food good (laughs) it's the food good (laughs) (laughs) and i was just like yeah and he was just like you know what kind of meat that is and i was just like no and he's just like you saw the goat that was that that was killed in the morning and i was just like yeah and he's like, that's what you're eating. You just ruined it. <laughs> I just, I just, you lost your was, appetite. I lost my appetite. The one appetite went all the way back to America. <laughs> it, went, it went somewhere else. And I was like, can I please be excused? My stomach was hurting so bad. I she was, was scarred. Like, she was, I was scarred. <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to wait till we go to my auntie's restaurant later on tonight. Where do we more go? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll eat the poisson la the, the fish and that again. Oh, so I was yeah. just like, I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> oh my gosh, she was scarred. I was scarred. So, so now I tell my mom, don't tell me what kind of meat is in the soup. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as you don't see it. As butcher. long as I don't know, then I'm okay. Really? Yeah, I just don't want to know what kind of meat. Wow, <laughs> you didn't turn you didn't turn vegetarian though. No. Wow. Just me. I I mean after a, like oh like you know when we came back. I only, I did, I was like a pescatarian, I guess you could say. Because I, I wouldn't mind like the fish, but mm-hmm. yeah, the meat, it took me a while to like get back. It wasn't that long, like a month, but still. Yeah. I couldn't. She was very scarred. <laughs> so, you know, you're talking about um, the food and how you were scarred. Did you, aside going, I'm sorry, I'm, aside going to Ivory Coast, have you been to some other places? Yeah, um, I went to Ghana and we were, we went to the um, Makola market. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like that was a whole different like, you know, experience for me. Oh my gosh, like with the smell or the food or the... <laughs> Everything. It was like, hey. it, was, it wasn't like a bad like experience. It was just like a cool experience because it's like, it's something new for yeah, my eyes I to see, feed on, you yeah. know? So it was just like... You know, you see everybody with their like, you know, the food that they're selling, and everybody with the, you know, stuff on so, the, yeah, on the head. That, I've only seen that in like 
you know, the African for movies, I, and I actually get to see it with see my it, own yeah. eyes. Yeah, and fun. they all look so tired, mm-hmm. and they all hustling yeah. out there. Hey, yeah. pal. But at the same time, they're, they're happy, working. though. Yeah, I they're, know, right? They're working hard. They, they're actually happier than yeah. us. Yes, they're happy. Because at least some people will fight on the, by the roadside, and that's entertainment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> but, oof. And you see the dancing, everybody. Yeah, because there's there was you know, music. music. Yeah. And there was, like, a whole little section of people, like, dancing. And, <laughs> you know, I wanted to pull my camera out, but my dad was like, hey, be careful. Because that too, but not everybody. Yeah, but I wasn't thinking dates. about that. Yeah. I was just like, you know. Back in the day, 10 years ago. Wow. No, just, like, to take pictures, like, mm-hmm. you know. But, like, yeah. it was just like, yeah, this, don't. Yeah, because if it was. They'll just snatch. Just yeah, snatch. sure. But even even though I have, I, I grew up in Ghana and everything. Um, mm-hmm. When every time I go to Ghana and I go to the market, you're like, put your phone away. Put your. I'm like, I want to take a picture. I want people to know that I'm here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, but it's it's not to say it's like a bad place or whatever, but it's just it's just logic to be careful when you're in crowded places and mm-hmm. so that you're not losing valuables pretty much yeah. <laughs> so you know when people share their stories on on this uh, uh program we we have them um give them some kind of advice you know traveling abroad and you know expect how people put so much expectations and a big picture on traveling I mean, what would be your advice to someone who has not traveled abroad before, before, who's aspiring to be a traveler, mm-hmm. you know? I mean, definitely you have to be open-minded. Um, you know, you got to definitely just be open-minded, Try, try want to try new things. Mm-hmm. You can't, you know, go to any country being just straight, you know, strict, like, I'm, I, I'm only, I'm, I only like this, I want to only do this, like, you have to be... Open. able to be open and trying new things speaking to new people mm-hmm. i kind of get surprised talking about being open i get really surprised when people go like well my people from ghana they be traveling traveling kinky and so like yeah because when i go i have to i have to eat i'm like come no, on you have to be open to trying the exactly. kebabs, the, kebabs yeah. exactly. the spicy food mm-hmm. just to let me know you don't have to eat the whole thing but just try it Try. You, know, you don't have to do, your, do this everything, yeah, but do just your try research it. as mm-hmm. well. Like if you're traveling somewhere new, do your research and see like you know, even though you're gonna go and see it yourself, but you know, just try to get like a background or something. Like, yeah. But like yeah, like she said, be open to try new things and new activities. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. not every day, uh, for food and soup. Yeah. You know, and you don't want to <laughs> go hips all the way from <laughs> east to west. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway. But it's okay. Hips is okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I'm so loving just sitting out here. I wish life was just like this. I would sit here and just chit-chat mm-hmm. and just have some more drinks. Oh, like yeah. this, this was what? A mimosa? I guess. Not, not mimosa. <laughs> pineapple. And with pineapple with some mango. mango. <laughs> yeah, for some champagne mixed with... Hey. <laughs> so, um, That'll be the next one. But I'm really loving this. <laughs> I wish life was just like this. Everybody would be so chill like this and just mm-hmm. have drinks and not be fighting or whatever. Oh, yeah. But hey, you guys, we really appreciate your time. Thank you, Nadesh. No Thank problem. you, um, wife Yvonne. Yvonne. <laughs> wife she on. know, she just, she, she know the name. She just trying to act up. <laughs> Call her wife on. So thank you, wife on. Thank you, Nadesh. We appreciate you, no um, you, you know, coming on here, and I, I appreciate you know getting the opportunity to invade your house a little bit because I'm about to go continue and finish up with my invasion. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do so down below, please, and turn on that bell notification bell so that you're notified when we post more of these videos. And also, if you have some kind of business that you want to you know put out there i'm all about supporting our own hey you know what it is <laughs> um and so with that said thank you everyone and i'll see you in the next person's house i guess <laughs> peace out Bye. <laughs> what did what were you saying i should say <laughs> <Cuts>. Cut. <laughs>